Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Maya. In today's video, I'm just going to be talking about the ATITs exam. For those who don't know what the ATITs is, this is an entrance exam that most nursing schools will use to enroll students in their programs. I do want to say though that that is not all they consider. They also consider your prerequisites GPA. So your GPA and your T score is what's going to determine if you get into the program of your choice. So this is a very, very important exam. Um, a little bit of background about myself. I'm currently a fourth semester nursing student. I'm actually starting my fourth semester in a few days. And I have one more semester after that. And I'll be done with nursing school in December of 2022. So I took my T's back in 2020, December. So it has been a while, but it hasn't been that long. Uh, but I did try to update myself and just so that I can provide you guys with as much updated information as possible. And so with that being said, what I think is very important to know about the T's way before you take it is just knowing the minimum required score for the schools that you intend to apply to if you're going to apply to multiple schools. So every school is different. Every school's minimum required score is different. For my school, it was 78%. I know for some schools it's less than that some schools it can be as low as 50 in the 50s and some schools it's higher than that and so just try to find that out what i think is also important to know is just how competitive those programs are for the schools you want to apply to some schools are very very popular and very competitive they only offer like a hundred spots and they receive thousands of applicants so just know it's good to have that information just so you keep it in mind while you're studying so that you know how hard to work, what to aim for, and try not to aim, you know, for the minimum required score. Because even if you do get above the minimum required score and you have a really good GPA, it does not guarantee that you will be accepted in the program of your choice. Because if they're only offering 100 spots and even if you do well, but there's 100 people who do who did better than you, then you're still not going to get in, even if you meet the minimum requirements. So just try to do the very best that you can. And my third advice is just join um, social media platforms. Um, if you're like me, you have no one in your life who is a nurse. Like no one in my family does anything that is related to the healthcare field. And so I was going through this process very, very blindly. Uh, I did have an academic advisor and sometimes she was not very helpful. She was giving me very vague information <laughs> that I would get online. And so I relied a lot on YouTube videos and social media platforms for my school. And that's where I got pretty much all my information from. And so just look for those kind of groups, you know, Facebook, Instagram, just try to see if your school has a page. And so the ATITs, this exam has four sections. It has the English reading, uh, science and math section. So these sections, it's one big exam, but they give you a time limit for each section. So once you use up the time for one section, it automatically takes you to the next section and you can go back to the previous section. So it can be very nerve wracking while you're taking it. It's about three hours long, if I remember correctly. And I think they do give you a little break at some point, but yeah. So in nursing school, we take TI exams all the time. And so we kind of know by now what to expect and how to study for them. And I hope that this information I'm providing you can also be applied to the T's. Uh, because now I have a little bit more experience with a TI. Um, and if you're taking the T's, it's probably the very first ATI exam that you have ever taken. And I'm just trying, gonna try to give you information coming from a fourth semester nursing student who has been taking more and more ATI exams in the program. And so what I want you to know about ATI is that the way they make the questions is just very, very different and difficult. It's one of the most difficult exams that you will take. <laughs> 
if not the most difficult so it's very unique in the way they make the questions and what i have learned so far when studying for ati exams is that the most helpful thing to do is do practice questions and not just regular practice questions but practice questions that are meant for that specific exam that's what we do in nursing school when we're taking the exams we just do they provide you with two practice questions and if you do those two practice questions and you read the rationale in detail and just really get a good grasp of what's happening it kind of helps you to get a to kind of read the ATI test makers minds just so you know what they're looking for and how they think and that's just very helpful when taking these ATI exams and so that's what I encourage you to do um a lot of people don't really you know use their class notes like their lecture notes to study for the ATI just because that's not usually very helpful so those two practice assessments are the most helpful thing and so I did see on the website for T's that they also do provide practice assessments for the T's that are meant specifically for the T's, but you do have to purchase them. I was looking at their website. I'm just going to look up my iPad and they do have different packages to study. Um, so I see there is a comprehensive study package. Uh, this is probably best for people who have um you know if you've been in out of school for a while and you want something a little bit more detailed to prepare and a, like a refresher a more detailed refreshment of what you learned a while ago this is probably a good study package for you these prices are like on the expensive side um there's also a basic study package that has practice assessments and a study manual and there's one that just has practice assessments and i think these are really good packages i never actually used them i didn't know about them no one told me that they existed i don't even know if they existed then and so um they also have just a package that is just practice questions it's like 50 dollars, and they also have a study manual that's just 25 dollars. so that's that's not so bad um, and so I think it's a very good investment to make. When I studied, I used this book right here. Um, this is ATIT's Mometrics book. I also bought this one, but I didn't use this one much. I just used this one because I only had two weeks to study for the T's from the time I was done with my prerequisites. So I used this one, but I didn't even use it that much. I did not study for the T's as much as I should have. And therefore I did not do as well as I hoped to. And so, as you can see, it kind of looks new, right? Like, like no one has even used it. <laughs> but yes, um, and if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, you will see that a lot of people will recommend this book. But my number one recommendation, apart from that book, would be these packages that they have. And they have multiple options here that and you can just suit whichever one best suits your needs. Um, personally, if I knew about this, I would have picked the online assessment online practice assessments they give you two uh, practice assessment exams and also i would have maybe bought the study manual which is 25 dollars i think that's a really good combination to have um like that's the best bet is using ati resources to study for ati i think is the best idea and i know that they're a little bit pricey but it's a good investment because if you don't do well on your t's or even if you do get the minimum required score but you're still not getting in the program you want you might want to retake it just to have a higher score to give yourself a better chance but if you keep on retaking it you keep on spending more and more money so i feel like it's a good idea on your first try to just try to invest in a really good product that gives you a really good chance of doing well on the exam and so yeah and also when i took the t's i did not do as well as i hoped to like i said so i believe i had like um in the english section that was my lowest score i think i had like a 66 um and you i know like, i have an accent right i have an accent because i'm from africa and you think that i did bad because english is not my first language but English is actually my first language, even though in my country, English is our national language. And so I thought I would do really well because I do speak English, but I did so bad. It was my lowest score. I think it's what brought my overall score down. And just because I feel like 
but you know we don't really study for english because we're like oh we speak english all the time i'm not gonna study for it i know english i'm gonna ace it and so that's what i did i did not study english and also the time limit for english they give you one minute for one question so for my exam we had 24 questions and we were given 24 minutes and so i'm someone who it takes me a little longer to comprehend written information i have to read a question like four or five times before i fully understand what they're talking about and so it takes me time so being put in that kind of situation i it just gave me test anxiety and i was freaking out and i just tried to go through it really fast and hence i did not do as well as i had hoped and so yeah and for the math section i got a 75 percent the math section honestly is not that bad for me it was also just the time thing um if you did really well in college algebra that's pretty much all there is to it it's just al basic algebra and you know some high school math it's nothing that's too difficult or complex um also the science section if you did well during your prerequisites and you know i personally had an i had a's in all three sciences i had a's in anatomy and physiology one and two as well as micro and so i've always been good with science so i got a 91 in science uh which was my highest score and so yeah if you're a half decent student with sciences uh, you should be fine it's nothing too detailed um and then there's also the reading section where i got an 85 i was expecting to do really bad in that section but i didn't do so bad um so yes um and um the t's for 2022 they're actually making some changes they're going to change it from version 6 to version 7 i believe that i took version 6. um i don't think the changes are like massive they're just making changes to like you know the number of questions per section and they're also gonna add some uh, sub topics to some sections nothing major but one thing i did find interesting though is that they're gonna add select or that apply format questions those type of questions are the bane of our existence in nursing school so i'm surprised that they're adding it to the t's i'm gonna guess that if they're gonna if they're adding it to the t's they it might also kind of start doing it during your prerequisites which is it's not the worst idea so that by the time you get to nursing school you're a little bit used to solving that type those type of questions but i'm gonna tell you they're very cheeky they're very they're not very fun to <laughs> to have to do um so just good luck to everybody who's gonna take the atits this is this version is gonna i think come into effect in june it says june 3rd after june 3rd so if you're taking the t's after that it's a good idea for you to go on the t's the ATIT's website and just kind of look at the changes the specific changes that are being made i'm not able to go into all the details here but just look at the website and just go through it by yourself so yes that is my little talk about the ATIT's. um i don't remember how much these books were um I do think you should you really should use the ATI website uh, resources but if you can't afford them and I think this is still a very great resource to use um, I bought this one on Amazon I don't remember how much it is like I said and so yes I wish you the best of luck in your journey and if you have any questions don't be afraid to ask you just leave a comment down below and if you like this video just please subscribe to my channel this is my very first youtube video and i hope you guys stick around so thank you so much for watching mm -hmm.